We remember a political icon this evening, George McGovern. He was a man of conscience and conviction, and he was a presidential candidate at a time that this nation was divided by war. Here's ABC's John Donvan now. When George McGovern was running for the White House in 1972 at a campaign stop in Arkansas, the kid who met him at the airport, that's right, Bill Clinton, a good enough way to show how that 72 campaign and the legacy of George McGovern impacts the Democratic Party even today. The son of a South Dakota minister, a decorated pilot in World War II, McGovern was a liberal. He was the first U.S. senator to oppose the war in Vietnam. I will halt the senseless bombing of Indochina on inaugural day. Though he ran in 72, it was the 60s he was channeling, the youth-powered, rule-breaking, establishment-blaming assault on the status quo. We're wasting money on the war that we ought to use on building up our own country. Liberal was in fashion, but his campaign was a mess. His pick for vice president, Tom Eagleton, was dropped by McGovern once it came out that Eagleton had been hospitalized for mental illness. There's not much cause for dancing in the streets of Sioux Falls, South Dakota tonight. On election day, he lost every state but Massachusetts, and the Democratic Party lost once loyal voters who would never return. So that by the time that kid who met him at the airport had pulled the party back towards the middle, the word McGovernite was a slur that Democrats would use against each other. As for the man, though, a kind of lasting respect came George McGovern's way as a senator and afterwards when he made a cause of fighting hunger. To the end, he stuck to his views, whether they were in fashion or not. John Donvan, ABC News, Washington.